Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are continuing on with the jet train, and when I say that, I don't mean we're actually continuing on with it. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna make a little carriage, or a little train car, uh, that will get pulled behind this thing, uh, using uh, the main part of the train. So we'll actually have uh, the same sort of system as this. In fact, we're just gonna copy this bit, this whole section, uh, and we're gonna make a train car out of it. Um, and then what we can actually do if we make the cargo car behind, we can actually t transform this bit on the on the front into a fully fledged passenger train. So um, I think that'll work anyway. So if we want to tow cargo, uh, we have to get ourselves a train car. If we want to tow people, <laughs> well, not tow people, uh, but we would have the people inside here. I don't know whether that's going to be the case yet, but let's make the car first and we'll see what happens from there. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, I guess the first thing's first, we'll just grab it. We'll, we'll grab this whole thing. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go all the way to the side. Yes, of course we are. We're gonna go all the way to this side, and we're gonna go all the way back. Yes. We're gonna grab entire, like, all of this. There we go. All the way down to around there, that's fine. And we're gonna grab this piece too, and we're gonna copy it. Then, we're gonna go new. Yes. Alright, so... This is what we've got. This is the vehicle uh, of choice. This is what we're going to be using. Um, I guess it could be flat at both the back and the front. Because it's just a train car. So, I guess it could be. Yeah. Uh, we do, of course, need to extend it slightly, though. So, that's exactly what we're going to do now. Alright, so in order to actually extend this thing, we're just going to go ahead and do this. We're going to do this. We're just going to copy this piece right here. We're going to cut it. There we go. We're going to move it to the front-ish. There we go. We don't want it to be all the way at the front because that's too big. However, um, what we've got so far right here is fine. Yes. So, we're going to go backwards. We're going to grab this piece. All right, the rest of it, or a lot of it. Here we go. Uh, we're going to cut it. Yes. Move it. Oh, no, I didn't mean to cut it. That's not what I meant to do. Whoops. All right, whatever. There we go. Paste it. Merge all of these to- oh god. Alright, yeah, merge all of these together. So that they're all correct, Amundo. There we go, merge that with that, that with that, and this with this, this with this. Same on the other side, hold on. That with that, that with that, and I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, so the whole thing is actually green. We're gonna merge this with this, this with this as well. Uh, same with these two and these two, there we go. And that's fine. So, the main vehicle itself is the green, not the red, which is weird, um, but that's fine. So, with the rest of this, we obviously don't need uh, jets or anything, so we're going to have to sort out the back end to look pretty, etc. Um, I'm actually going to delete this piece. We're going to, ooh, we're going to do that. We're going to do, oh, I need to try and make sure that we keep the same, the same thing going on, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, but there we go. Right, fill in all of those, fan dabby dozy. That's fine. Right, okay, yeah. This is actually okay. Uh, on top of here, we're just going to paint these pieces, like so. And we're going to paint this piece all red. Paint all of this all red. And paint all of that. You guessed it, all red. Uh, so that's fine, yes. Then, oh, we got a bit of an issue here. So we're just going to quickly merge that. We need a way of uh, braking, I guess. Um, but we also need train. Is it called train? Yeah, we need these things to go on, and we need them to look good. So, we're going to put one right there. Yep, and we're going to put one right there. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's that's probably okay. Good. Uh, then, from there, we're just going to do this type of thing uh, down, and we're going to bring it forwards. Alright, cool. We're going to do a similar thing at the back here, so... Turn this around, go forwards, attach these together, that's that's okay, I think. <laughs> I think that's probably fine. Uh, delete those for now, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put, are they called tracks? I think they're called tracks. We're actually going to put these on the side. Uh, maybe not those ones, but the other ones, these ones. Uh, just for something to look cool, or look different, we're just going to put those there. Uh, which is kind of nice, I think I like those. Um, right, okay, so that's all good. 
We obviously need to sort out this back end here. We need to get rid of actually quite a lot of this. Um, actually, no, to be fair, we need, we need it. Yeah, we do. Um, in fact, no, we don't. We don't need this bit or this bit or this bit or that bit. Uh, or that bit, indeed. Uh, we don't need any of this on the table or this. We don't need that or this or this or this or this. What we do need, though, is these two. So that's what we will be using. Right, go ahead and grab them. Hold on. Uh, Alright, go ahead and cut this. Move it backwards. Paste it right there. And whammo! That's alright. Good. Go ahead and fill these in. Um, we obviously need to fill in the back of this. So it looks good. It looks alright. Um, and that'll be fine. Right, so. Paint. Red. All the way around the outsides. Like so. Okay. Red along the bottom. And then in the middle... We'll have grey, I think. But merge those first. Go ahead and paint the middle pieces. Like this. Nah, I don't think I like that. In fact, I definitely don't like that. What we're going to do is we're just going to add some random texture to it. So we're just going to do this. Uh, and... And this, I guess? Yeah, that's fine. There we go. And just attach them together like so. Do the top pieces. One and two. And then fill those in. Alright, wham. Good. Same right here. Wham. And then these pieces. One there. And one there. Alright. So that makes the back look a little bit better, I guess. We need to do a similar story or a similar thing on the front. If we can. The one thing that I'm... Right, okay. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, let me just grab these. It's probably easier to do it this way anyway. Right, so press H. So we can't see what's going on in here. <laughs> I think that's fine. Uh, we're going to do this. Bigger. This bigger. There we go. All the way up to the tippity top. There we go. And all the way to the bottom. Nice. Alright, I think that's good. Go ahead and copy that. Move it forwards. Turn it around. Paste it on, I guess. Just paste it right there. That's fine. And merge it. So there we go. Yeah, that's alright. Um, this piece is missing. I don't know why, but it, it is. It's missing here too, presumably. Oh no, it's these. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, but that, to me, looks alright. Yeah. Uh, we might as well continue these around. Oh. Might as well continue those around. So it looks better, obviously. There we go. Yes. And on this side. Boing. 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 There we go. Uh, and I think that's fine. So. This right here is a rail car. That's okay. It needs a battery. Okay. Yeah, it does. It definitely needs a battery. I'm actually going to get rid of these. I don't think we need them. Uh, well, we might have needed them, but now we don't have them. So never mind. Anyway, battery. We're going to go for two of these. There we go. Fill in this little section right here. And voila. We have everything we need, I think. Go ahead and fill in these pieces. Fill in these pieces. And I think that's all right. Yeah, uh, so of course the only problem is, or one of the problems is, we have no way of getting inside of this thing, unless we use these. So, that's a bit of a iffy situation, actually. I don't know how to get in. Alright, so what if we actually have a switch box uh, for somewhere? I don't know where we can hide these things. I, in fact, there is... Oh, we can hide them underneath. Yeah, we can just put them here. There we go, switch box right there. Go ahead and get a number for the other side. Uh, one of these right here. Good. We're going to go ahead and make that number one. Nice. All right. Attach this to on. And do this to here and here. Okay. Do the same thing to here and here. That's fantastic, I guess. And attach this to buttons. All right. So we're actually going to get rid of those too. That's fine. Right. So in order to actually use these things, we're going to have... Two buttons right here. So, button. Here we go. In fact, we only need one. We only really need one button. Okay, right. One button. Here we go. Double-sided. Yes. Put it right there. I connect this with this thing. Connect this with this thing. Oh, we can only do it with one side. Really? Really? All right, okay. We'll put it there uh, for now. Delete this, oh, whoops, 
Hold on. No, stop it. Delete this piece. Go ahead and put that bit in there. Paint this bit this color. All right, okay, so this should should open the doors. Or open one of the doors. I don't know. It'll open something. Right, connect that to there, connect that to there, connect that to there. Awesome. Right. Press spawn. Let's see what happens. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. E to edit. Oh, there we go. What in the world? Why is it stuck? Why are they stuck? That doesn't make sense. Have I merged something that I shouldn't have merged somewhere? I don't think I have. In fact, I haven't. I don't think... I don't think I have. Um, wait, 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 wait. This one angles down. Okay. Which means that that one angles down, and that is true. Okay. Well, I don't really know what the problem is then. This is weird. Right, so I think what was actually happening... Well, oh, I keep doing it. We're stood too close to the workbench, and Q&E does that. Anyway, if we do this, those two have opened, but... The ones on the bottom haven't. I mean, that's kind of strange. I don't know why that's happening. Uh, let's have a little look at this. Do, 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 do. I think I know why that's happening. Uh, they're not actually attached to anything. Alright, do those. Do this. This does mean that all the doors have to open whenever we open up the thing. So if we do... Ah, I keep doing it. If we do this, the doors shall open and you can load things in. Alright, awesome. So, with that being said, you just close it like so and all of it closes. We're going to go ahead and save this as uh, jet... Oh, uh, no. Cargo... Uh, car. Cargo... Cargo car. Right, okay. We're going to save that, and somewhere on this thing, we need to have the buffer. Uh, sorry, the, the the thing, the thing, to attach it to the train. So if we have a little look here. Where is the little thing to attach it to the train? How high is it? Uh, duh, 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 duh. It's level with those. Alright. Good. It's level with those. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys, because I think it makes sense to me. It's level with these. So it actually goes somewhat here, I think. Let's have a little look at this. Both sides. Alright, hold on. Um, let's put this across here. Like that. Go ahead and get a piston. In fact, wait, 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 wait. Save this again. Yep. We can actually just take the one from there and put it on there. Yeah, this will work fine, I think. So, uh, selection grid. We're going to do this. Boop. There we go. All the way to the other side. There we go. Yep, that's fine. Go backwards all the way. And go down, I guess. There we go. Alright, so we cut this. We obviously put it on our cargo car. Yeah, on both sides. So we drag this backwards. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. We put it on right there, I think. Put it on right there, I think so. Uh, paste it. Okay. Turn it around. Take it to the front. There we go. Uh, we'll do exactly the same thing. So, bring it backwards. Paste it there. Obviously, merge it. So, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, move the entire thing backwards. Just a tiny bit. There we go. Paste it. Good. Merge this with this. And that's all fine. Good. We obviously want to do it here as well. Merge this with this. That's all fine. And that's okay. Yeah, that is actually all right. So, delete these pieces, make them black, yep, because that's what they are right there. Um, same with this piece, delete this piece, make that bit black right there, and we obviously need to put the train gear back in, so grab the train gear, there we go, and I don't know which way's forwards, hold on, uh, that way's forwards, right there, boop, there we go, and... Move that backwards one, that's okay. Put it there, and then put these pieces on. There we go, indeed. All right, that's fine, nice. Go ahead and save it real quick. There we go. And we'll go ahead and grab the train. And we'll spawn the train in. Yep, all right, move it forwards. We also need a way to reverse this thing as well. That is definitely something we need. But anyway, um, let's get this out first. 
Then we need to get inside and we need to fix the, the winches because they'll fly around. And then we can attach the car onto the back. I think. Maybe. Alright, so I spawned in the car. Let's go ahead and push this forwards. There we go. If we can catch up to the train, that would be awesome. Uh, but the train is currently getting away. Just a little bit. Uh, yeah, so those should attach. Indeed they have. That's good. Um, we need to obviously get inside of here. Da -da 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 -da. And we need to press this button and this button. Good. Alright, that's fine. These still work the same way they normally did. Yes, indeed they do. And we can now drive with the train car. So let's throttle up a bit. We've ignited, so obviously there is a bit of an issue there. All the ignition just goes straight through. Uh, but that's fine. All right, so I kind of want to get some more cars on. Let's go get some more cars. Right, okay, so I've attached a few more cars. As you guys can see, we had a little bit of an accident with one of them. Uh, let me just show you guys that one. Hold on. Uh, we had an accident with this one, so we actually broke the back end. However, uh, the rest of it is actually completely fine, so we should be able to move. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Speed that up a bit. Ignite the engines. And if we can move, that would be great. We are moving. Alright, cool. So we got our cargo cars behind us. We need to put a speedo on this thing, because at the minute... I mean, it says zero. Uh, right, okay, keep going. Dude, I like the view out of these windows. It's cool. All right, go max. We appear to have lost some of our train cars. Uh, why? I don't know. I don't know why we've lost two. We, we've actually lost like three train cars. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, right, let's go ahead and stop real quick, because I did something else that I, I didn't show you yet. Alright, do that. Let's see if our train cars actually catch up. They might. I don't think they're going to. No, they're just, they're just stuck all the way back there. Yeah, we don't have a reverse gear, which someone mentioned, which makes sense. Uh, we need to add one, so we will. Um, and also, if we press this button, it still works. Yes. Alright, fantastic. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Um, so yeah, now we've got train cars. They're about the right level to actually get inside and you could load them up with things I don't know what things but you could definitely load them with with things uh, But anyway, uh, that's fine. That's okay. Let's go ahead and close that up. I think we should Hmm, I don't know what we should do. I'm gonna take this back real quick and I'm gonna add a speedo real quick Right, okay, so I've actually added a speedo. This thing should now show us the speed. Uh, we are going to crash straight into our little cars, but that's okay. Uh, as long as we can see how fast we're going as we do it. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So, uh, throttle up. Yep, brakes are off. That's fine. We're going five. All right, five miles, no, meters per second. Speed it up a bit. Now we're going 100. Speed it up a bit more. Now we're going 180. Speed it up all the way. Now we're going 243. 243, here's the cars. Alright, we've met the cars. Um, now, one thing that's quite funny about this is uh, we can't actually stop now, um, which is an issue, I suppose. Um, because, 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 we can't turn that off. Our seat's broken, that's broken, and we've just got issues. Um, so we're just going to continue pushing, which is weird. Um, what was our last indicated speed? 152. We're just going to keep going till we run out of fuel. So, um, that's a thing. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here before we do any more disastrous stuff. Hopefully, in the next video with this thing, we'll probably finish it. Maybe. Probably. Uh, we'll turn it into a passenger train and we'll see what happens from there. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.